Today we are looking at a topic that is often overlooked by cyclists but can make a huge cycling performance difference. We are talking about why you should absolutely add strength training into your program. So if you want to know how to get going on the bike, stay tuned for more. Let's go! What's up guys welcome back to the video as you can see we're up to normal style content again i hope you enjoy if you do drop a like and subscribe to the channel you know all that good stuff but let's get into the video today we've got a lot to talk about about strength training for cyclists it is fantastic for building function resilience and overall performance on the bike so let's get going the first benefit I want to get into is something that might not be on top of your mind, but it is bone density. Cycling is a weight supported activity, which means that it can actually decrease your bone density over time. But fear not, this is exactly where strength training will come into play. Although if you do it, you should exceed the minimal essential strain for bone to grow. So it should be resistance training at an intensity that surpasses that threshold. So you're actually convinced that strength training might be something that is good for you in general or for your cycling performance, but then you get to the question, how should you do it? Should you go for low reps, high intensity or high reps, low intensity? Well, if your absolute goal is to improve your maximum strength, i.e. your one repetition maximum, you should really try to increase the weight as much as possible. Next up, I want to address the myth of bulking up. Some people on the bike think that if they overtrain on the strength training, they will get too bulky, i.e. too heavy to go cycling. Well, I can assure you it is not that simple. Ask any bodybuilder, any strength training, how difficult it is to put on muscle mass. So you should definitely not be afraid to bulk up too much. One thing that is very essential with your strength training is timing. It's very difficult to do your strength training throughout the whole season, whether it's running or cycling. The off season, however, is perfect for starting with strength training. It is approaching since most of the seasons are running at its end and how I will be tackling the entirety of the off season I will leave that for another video so subscribe to stay tuned but as of for now I am incorporating strength training into my own regimen and I'll probably do it twice a week and with twice a week I mean mostly leg workouts I like some upper body workouts as well Although if you do too much of those, there might not be a direct benefit for cycling or running, especially if you do it too much. You just picked up the weights, but then you're thinking, should I go heavy weights or body weight? Well, in this case, the choice might be completely up to you since with your own body weight, you can actually make the exercise as difficult as you want. Look up some calisthenics exercises because they will benefit you immensely. You can make a squat, go from double leg to single leg or to lunge or to Bulgarian split squat or dragonfly squat or shrimp squat or whichever variation might suit you at this time. And you'll also progress as much as you would with heavy weights. Although that being said, using heavier weights is just easier and also easier to test and train according to how much your one repetition maximum is. I prefer to do it with some heavy resistance, a weights, but I'm sure there's plenty of variants that are body weight. One last option, whether you should choose between unilateral or bilateral movement. A squat, for instance, is bilateral since you're using two feet or two legs at the time. 
If you're going for absolute maximizing your strength, then going bilateral might be very good because you're not wasting any muscle energy on keeping you balanced. If you, for instance, want to train your balance a little bit more, you could opt for a lunge or a lunge on an imbalanced surface, or you can make the exercise even harder so it's more training your balance. Both things are very good, but they train separate things. So if you want to train both, I also suggest that you would keep those separate. A, you do some strength training with some heavy squats and then do some lunges on an instable surface to really train those stabilizing muscles also. All right, there you have it guys. If you're not yet convinced on why you should do some strength training, I will link to this article below. Also, if you're wondering if I'm holding pink weights, which are for my wife, well, yes, yes I am. It's time to get me some new weights, which are black and heavier. Anyway, this is it for today's video. I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace out, bye.